as well as going on. So luckily, um, I come from um, a family that's got a little bit of medical um, background. Um, so I was able to kind of work my way through uh, the red tape of the medical field or the medical uh, offices I had to call uh, because um, and I had done billing for medical billing too, so I was kind of aware of like you know the terms of you know insurance and we don't accept this and do you have cash and you know your insurance company won't cover this prescription and blah 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 blah. So um, anyway, so getting past all that, I had to call like 15 offices. I lived in a pretty big town. I lived in uh, Central Valley of California at that time. And I had to call like 15 offices, I think it was more like 20, to finally get a hold of one doctor who knew what the heck I was talking about. Because every doctor I would call, I'd be like, and I would call like the correct doctors. I would call like, um, uh, uh, you know, gynecologists, family practitioners, you know, the, the women doctors, all that stuff, you know. So finally, um, you know, I'd say, do you guys um, do testing or prescribe for bioidentical hormones? Because you have to have a prescription to get them. I mean, you just can't go to the drugstore and, and pick them up over the counter. You have to have a prescription. Um, and it has to be a prescription that's issued by a, a compounding pharmacy. But I'll talk more about that later. It's super simple. And the hardest part I found was finding a doctor who knew what the heck bioidentical hormones were. And um, they're, they've been around since the 50s, you know. And um, I think why doctors don't know what bioidentical hormones are is because you can't patent them. Uh, you can't get a, a, doc, a, a pharmaceutical company cannot patent a, uh, a, uh, a bioidentical hormone because they occur naturally in nature. And the only way they can patent something is if you make up that compound uh, yourself and claim it to be yours or your corporation's. So then you can't make as much money on it because you don't have the patent for it. So I think this is why the bioidentical hormones went away and you never hear about them anymore. And thank God for Suzanne Summers because she brought them back to the forefront for me. So anyway, I finally got a hold of one doctor who said, oh yeah, we know what bioidentical hormones are. I'm thinking, you gotta be kidding me. You know, 20 doctors later and there's finally one that knows what bioidentical hormones are. So anyway, I'm like, okay, can I make an appointment? And they're like, well, yeah, you know, your insurance doesn't cover it. I'm like, that's okay, I'll pay it. And um, and they're like, okay, well, you know, what are you gonna be paying with? I'm like, I'm gonna be paying cash. So they said, okay, we'll come in, we'll make you an appointment. So I went in, uh, I sat there for, uh, you know, I think like 30, 40 minutes waiting for my appointment. You know, it was like, you know, it's like, my time's important too. I'm, I've been sitting here for 40 minutes past my appointment time and I still haven't been seen. So finally they called my name and I saw this nurse and she was like, okay, so what are you here for? I'm like, well, I called on the phone and I made sure you guys do bioidentical hormones. She's like, oh no, 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 no. We, we, we think you need to get Premarin. And I'm like, I am not taking Premarin. I, I, first of all, I am a huge animal lover. I love horses. I think they're the most misunderstood creature that God ever put on this planet. And I believe in my heart that they are the most beautiful creature God put on this planet. Uh, for some reason, I think that they're just divine. Um, they have a divine goodness about them that God gave them uh, for some reason. I don't think another animal did. Uh, maybe because, um, you know, there, there are workhorses. They've, they've done a lot for us in our history of uh, human beings. But anyway, so Premarin tortures horses. What they do is they hook up a pregnant mare, a mare that's pregnant, who's carrying a baby full term, and they hook her up to a catheter and they make her stand in a uh, stall. And not like a stall that you can like hang out in and roam around and lay down in. It is a uh, corridor that she cannot lay down, she cannot turn around. Uh, she can stand in one spot only and that is it. And it's just heartbreaking. And she has to stand that way for 10 months. This mare has to stand in one spot, one place, 24-7, pregnant with a uh, 200, 300 pound full, or no, they're not that heavy, but they're pretty heavy, they're, you know, 80, 100 pounds, uh, full in her, in her belly, in her womb for 10 months. And then when that full, because they collect her urine, they're collecting the estrogen uh, that the mare produces when she's pregnant for the full. So when the full is born, they take the full away right away uh, and usually they just go ahead and slaughter the foal because they've got so many surplus foals that they can't handle it. So when you hear about Merrick uh, pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies and you hear about Primarin uh, cream or pills, uh, that's where you're getting it from. It is a pregnant mare 
horse urine, then that mare has been tortured and that foal has been slaughtered uh, from day one. So anyway, there's a big rescue movement for him and people try and get the word out. Um, but these big pharmaceutical companies, they're vicious and they're villains and uh, they're vulgar. And uh, they, they, of course, try to uh, hide in the shadows because they're cowards and they're uh, barbaric. Uh, but anyway, um, so at least on this, on this particular uh, 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 prescription, you know, because you don't have to have Premier and you can do synthetics for it. You don't have to have Mare urine. You can make that crap up in a lab if you wanted to, but for some reason they have a patent on Mare urine. So anyway, um, so I'm, I told the nurse, I'm like, there is no way in hell, no way in hell that I am taking Premier and I don't care how sick I am. I am not taking Premier and it's against my God, my God given rule of what you're going to do to an animal to protect my health. I'm just not going to do it at least in this case. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it is against, it's against my will to uh, give me a prescription that has <clears throat> been manufactured by a pregnant mare um, in this particular case. I, you know, I'm not in a life-threatening uh, disaster. Um, you know, I can understand how some people would, uh, you know, so anyway, so I'm not going to be taking the Premarin. Okay, so I'm not going to be taking the Premier, and I told her this. I said, I want my money back because I called this office uh, ahead of time, and I asked them specifically about bioidenticals. And if you're not going to give me bioidenticals um, and you're going to insist on take Premier, and I am walking out of this door right now. And see, the, the, the doctors get commissions for, for prescribing these pills, so um, these, these patented pills. So they want to give you a uh, patented pill because um, they get a kickback. They get to go on their golfing trip. They get to go, you know, do what they want to do because they got that that commission and you think those commissions don't add up to a lot of money each month uh, you look at uh, how many pills are pushed onto uh, family members of yours elders uh, you know um, it, it's just uh, it's ridiculous but I'm gonna do another video on those because I, I have some issues with the uh, statins so anyway um, so I told her I said you know I I want my money back I waited 40 minutes past my appointment time and if you're not gonna be bioidenticals I'm walking out I want my money back um, you know, I'm not paying you guys on the other counter. Don't expect a payment from me. And um, so she's like, oh, okay, well, let me get the doctor for you. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that would be great. So, so the doctor comes in and she was a nice lady. You know, she was, she was pretty cool. She was, you know, um, she's like, she actually wanted to hear what I had to say. And I thought, you know, that's, you know, good. That's a good start. So I said, well, hey, you know, I want to get, um, I want to get bioidenticals. And so I, uh, so she kind of peered down her nose at me. I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at reading literature. I know how to read a book. I, you know, I know a little bit about basic uh, human metabolism. And, and uh, you know, I've been around these terms uh, pretty much my whole life. And, uh, you know, um, either going to give it to me or not, you know. And uh, it's your decision. What is it? What's your decision? So she's like, well, okay, well, you know, if that's really what you want. I'm like, yeah, that's really what I want, you know. She's like, well, then we can, you know, we'll, we'll run the test for you. And I'm like, okay, well, she's being pretty cool. She, you know, she kind of went along with it, you know, once once we got down to, um, you know, balls against the wall. Um, so, um, so, so once we got down to, uh, you know, business and, and, you know, what I'm paying for and what she's going to give me for my payment, um, she, you know, she came around. She was actually pretty cool about it, you know, but it did take a little bit of uh, negotiation um, on my part. I didn't just go, oh, okay, I'll take the premier in. And so, um, so she did do the test, and it's a really simple test. You just go, um, you just, actually at that time I, I peed in a cup for, I think, 24 hours. Uh, now they do a saliva test. Um, and you can also do a blood test. Um, I think that the, the, the normal one's a saliva test. And you can do this, men and women can both do this. Um, it's highly recommended for both, for both men and women. Um, and pregnant women or women who've had, uh, women who've had um, uh, hysterectomies, um, because your hormones are, you know, uh, they're really out of, out of, out of whack, um, like mine were when I was going through all this. So what I found out, what the test told me was that of the three hormones, the, the, the testosterone, the progesterone, and the estrogen, my estrogen levels were sky high. I mean, they were like 10 out of 10. And my progesterone and my testosterone were basically at zero. And so that's why I was having all the headaches. That's why I was having the weight gain. That's why I was so moody because my estrogen was just super, super high and I had none of the other two that I needed to, 
to, to work off of. And testosterone is very, very important for uh, energy, for metabolism, for building muscle, for keeping muscle, um, keeping your muscle tissue healthy because you have three different muscle tissue, you have three different types of uh, skeletal tissue, uh, skeletal muscle tissue. Gosh darn it, you have three different types of, 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 uh, of, um, of tissues. Uh, I think one skeletal tissue, one is, I don't know, there's like a couple different kinds, but, but muscle tissue is very, very specific. You have to have testosterone to keep and build muscle tissue. And so if you don't have enough testosterone, that's why you start to get flabby. That's why you start to get low on energy. Um, that's why you get depressed because it's also associated with depression. You need testosterone to kind of feel a little bit of that zing. Um, progesterone keeps you really mellow. Um, it, progesterone is what women have when they're pregnant. Um, they don't produce estrogen when they're pregnant. It's, it's mostly just progesterone. So if you ever see women who have that really, really beautiful glow, and they're just kind of calm and soothing, and like, hey, no problem, you know, that's progesterone. That's what's gonna keep you really, really chilled out and kind of mellow and, you know, okay with everything. So um, so you need all three of those. Estrogen, I'm not really sure what estrogen does. <laughs> you know, I had so much of it, I didn't care. I just wanted to get rid of it. I was like, oh my God, I way too much estrogen. So once I started taking, once I, once I, I, I got the prescription filled for what my, my test results came back as, and what's nice about it is that it's not a one pill fits all. With the, uh, with the compounding pharmacy, which is where you have to have a prescription filled for the bioidenticals, they fill it exactly for you. Uh, they fill it exactly for what your needs are, what your test results were. It wasn't like, hey, we're going to give you uh, one pill for a uh, 300-pound man, but we're going to give it to you and you being a 100-pound woman. You know, it's not like that. They do it exactly for you. Um, so, sorry. So, so they do it exactly for you. So, um, so the compounding pharmacy, it's not really any more expensive than a regular pharmacy, and I think it's better service. Um, I, I, that's all I use now, so it's, it's no big deal. Um, but none of this was covered by insurance. Insurance won't cover this stuff. They, 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 it's kind of like chiropractors. It's like, my chiropractor is my best friend, but my insurance company will not cover it to save my life. And I don't think they want to save my life. I think they want me to go in the hospital so they can generate more millions and millions and millions, millions of dollars uh, for whatever they do with their millions of dollars. Um, so anyway, so the compounding pharmacy, that's where you get it filled at. And they're all over. There's probably five or six in, my, in, my, in the town I was in. There's a couple here where I'm at now. Um, but uh, really easy, real simple, and the, per, the two prescriptions that I needed, I had to take testosterone and I had to take progesterone. Um, so the two prescriptions are like 60 bucks, and I go through um, the, the, the prescriptions um, about a month and a half. So the test, the initial test was 200, and that test lasts me for a year since I've been doing it real regularly. I don't get tested now for, you know, two or three years. Um, but so it's not super expensive. I mean, it's very, very doable if you need to do it, you know. Um.